good morning to all of you welcome to legal matters by sai babu sunkar in this video we are going to discuss the sumoto case or sumoto repetition by the honorable latex court regarding bail conditions basically the supreme court is opinion that when bail is granted the person should be should avail the opportunity he should go out of the jail or wait from where he is but if he is still there what is the purpose of granting bail so therefore the conditions while granting bail should be such that they should not harass him so there must be liberal conditions please remember so policy strategy supreme court has taken up the sumoto repetition you can see the cases in re in re policy strategy for the grant of bail in smw criminal number 4 by 2021 taken up by honorable judges sanjay kishan kaur and sudhan shudhulia so they indicated basically that the conditions should be realistic and uh, so that the bail will condition should be implemented and while giving the conditions also the court should consider the economic and social conditions of uh, the so called prisoner or under trial prisoner or the accused person if not the granted bail serves no purpose so that's why in the beginning stages i told the law college students that the judgment or decision of a judge should depend on three factors one is justice justice means being fair second is justice equity equity means equality justice equity and good conscience while delivering the judge while writing the judgment he must have the good conscience he must not have a prejudice idea he must not have quarrel with his sons or family this equity you have to take it that's why in telugu i told you evarna jfc mega drunk and drive case unta kada dantlo auto driver matkuni 15 vel fine esthe vaadu kattagalana auto driver ki 500 vel maximum kada his earnings will be not more than 500 per day and he has to feed his family is it not so kavati the conditions to be imposed should be realistic and they must be proportionate to the socio economic condition of the so called accused person this is what the honorable supreme court of india held in the above case right so this all based on a writ petition where it is stated that around 6000 under trial prisoners even though granted bail they were not able to go out So once again, we have to be remembered of the famous human rights case Hussein Ara Khatoon versus Secretary Home State of Bihar, where the writ petition clearly stated that the people are languishing in jails because even though they were granted bail, the conditions are not fulfilled. Once again, similar situation has come. the supreme court honorable supreme court has appointed an amicus curiae mr gaurav agarwal yes he has studied he has interacted with so many people and he has reported to the court that about uh, 500 about uh, 5380 5380 under trial prisoners are identified as granted bail but not released of course the reasons are multifold or several reasons they are not able to furnish the surety they are not able to fulfill to the conditions the different conditions are there so if i start to tell you the conditions if the time will be it will consume time so please remember honorable apex court held that if bail bonds are not furnished within one month so normally the court will say he will be released on bail after furnishing the security by two persons for amount of 2 lakhs or so like that if the bail bonds are not furnished within one month the court may go for modification 
So once again, Isanara Kathil, what is that modification? He can be released on personal bond. He can be released on self-bail, like that. So, and another important point is, court will consider whether they are involved in multiple cases. No doubt, honorable court has granted bail in a particular case. But he is involved in so many other cases. Then what about that case? So they should be tried as early as possible. So can they? So the so-called reasons are so many. And third point, important point, the Honorable Supreme Court is, uh, suggested by the Supreme Court is that there should be an e-software regarding prisoners. The prison data. So it should be filled up by jail authorities as well as the judiciary also. So whenever a person is granted bail, he should come out of the prison. If he did not come out of the prison, there should be some flag mark or red mark so that it will reach the DLSA and the district legal services, they will find out the reason. Ultimately, they may request the court for modification of the order or things like that. So, Supreme Court finally stated that it is better to take up a course on this topic and uh, the judicial office also sensitized on this particular issue. So, very good matter regarding bail by the Honorable Supreme Court of India. The most first point of emphasis is regarding the conditions to be imposed. They should be imposed basing on the social and economic conditions of the accused person or the under prisoner. If you understand this much, it is sufficient. Thank you.